Okay, students, we are here at the biochemistry lab. So we'll now demonstrate the entire process which I have explained to you earlier. So uh, we begin with the uh, preparation of sample. So for the sample, we take the whole blood and uh, insert the tube inside the centrifuge machine. And important here, uh, you must know, is that whenever we place a sample inside the centrifuge machine, we also place a counterbalance in the slot opposite to it in order to spin it smoothly. So this is something that you must remember. So now we'll centrifuge this whole blood in order to separate out the serum or the sample that we have to uh, perform on. Okay, so now we'll uh, set the RPMs and uh, centrifuge this whole blood sample. Okay, now we'll take out the tube. We have centrifuged it for 20 minutes. So uh, this is the result after centrifugation. You can see the cellular component have separated out, leaving behind the plasma. Now this plasma uh, at this stage contains uh, some protein. So we'll take out this plasma and uh, leave it for a few minutes and then we will centrifuge it again in order to get a clear serum. Okay, so we had taken out the plasma and uh, centrifuge it further for a few minutes. So now let's see. Okay, so here you can see the clearer serum and uh, some of the proteins have settled down in the bottom. Okay, so now the sample that we have uh, prepared, we'll take uh, 0.1 ml of that sample and uh, insert it into the test tube, which is marked as test. So the other component is uh, addition of cholesterol standard. And uh, for this cholesterol standard, we know its concentration. We'll again take uh, 0.1 ml of this cholesterol standard and add it to the test tube, which is marked as the standard. Okay, now next step is uh, addition of ferric chloride. I had explained it to you earlier that we will take 6 ml of ferric chloride and add it to all of the test tube, blank, standard and test. Okay, uh, we had added uh, ferric chloride in all the three t test tubes. Now we'll add sulfuric acid to all the three test tubes.
So this is how we add the reagents. Now the test contain 0.1 ml of the sample that we have to determine the concentration of. And it also contain ferric chloride. It contain 4 ml of sulfuric acid. The standard contains 0.1 ml of a standard concentration of cholesterol solution and it contains ferric chloride, sulfuric acid. The blank only contains the reagents that we have used, that is ferric chloride and sulfuric acid. So we'll leave this test tube for a few minutes, or around 20 minutes, and then we'll take the transmittance of individual test tubes. Okay, students, this is uh, the spectrophotometer that we'll use. And uh, these are the qubits for uh, determining the color in the spectrophotometer. Okay, we'll now add the qubits in the spectrophotometer. First of all, we'll place the blank qubit. And then we'll close it. Now we'll set the transmittance to 100. Now we'll add the other qubits in the spectrophotometer. First, we'll add the standard. Then, in the next slot, we'll add the test qubit. Okay, now we'll take the transmittance of the standard and test. So this is the reading for standard and now we'll determine the reading for test.